is Monday morning. My Monday schedule is pretty chill because I don't have to attend my 8.30. It's online, thankfully. I do have an anatomy class at 10, so I'm just getting ready for that right now. This is just the outfit for today. It's super chill, but I love these jeans because they're really comfortable. They're from Urban Outfitters, actually. I have a pharmaceutics lab, which is literally like three hours long, which is longer than any of the classes I have on this day. My labs take up most of my afternoon on Mondays. I definitely cannot film in there. Maybe I'll ask, but also professionalism marks. I probably won't ask, but yeah, I have a lab later today. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Why do I make such a mess when I'm cooking? Oh my god. So I kind of started eating my breakfast already, but we have eggs and bacon and really crunchy green grapes because balance, I guess. Today is Tuesday, which means I don't have any classes, which means it's my most self-directed productive day of the week, if that makes sense, because I make my own schedule and I get to decide how much gets done or how much doesn't get done. But right now I'm just having my breakfast and then I'm gonna work from home and then maybe I'll go out later tonight at work at a cafe, but I haven't made my to-do list yet. I'll do that later. Right now I just wanna watch Fruits Basket and eat my four food group breakfast. So on the to-do list today is to one, watch the pharmaceutics week two lecture, two, watch the introduction to pharmacy profession guest lecture. But this is like a 40 minute recording that I'm supposed to watch before class. So I have to do that. I feel like it doesn't really make any sense, but I guess we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Three, review my anatomy lab content. There's like a pre-reading and like a pre-lab. And then on top of all of this, I want to start memorizing the top 10 drugs in the top 50 drugs that I need to memorize by next Friday. So yeah, like I said, my work is definitely cut out for me today but i'm feeling super productive there's so much time in the day now that i've woken up early so let's get into it
So the first thing that I'm working on is finishing my pharmaceutics lecture because I had two of them. I finished one earlier before I left for the cafe. And then I'm moving on to my anatomy pre-lab because I have my first anatomy lab on Friday and it's a group mark. And my worst fear is being responsible for other people's marks. And because I can't not contribute to this group work, I'm getting ahead. It's literally Tuesday and I'm getting the pre-lab done. And this proved to be helpful because on Friday, the lab actually went really smooth and it was more of an exciting lab than stress. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. I just woke up and it's not apparent from my voice. It's like 7.15 right now because I have four classes today. It's my busiest day of the week and I just like to get up earlier and be on time, get a good seat like in the class. If I wanna do my whole morning and skincare routine so I feel fresh and alert for the full day of classes. And I also wanna pick out a nice outfit and just get ready a little bit because I did do my hair yesterday so my hair is in the rollers right now. So yeah, first things first, I'm actually just gonna take them out of the rollers they were in for like way too long i left them in overnight you could actually just put them in for the morning part but i don't i probably should because now i have to tame them with water a little bit especially just like this part this is the best i could do right now the volume will definitely fall as the morning goes on also this is what my perm is supposed to look like it hasn't been looking too good because i've been taking care of it the last week but yeah, it's really cute. Okay, but the next step is pinning these bangs back so I don't undo them and washing my face. And the first product I'm going in with is the Beauty of Just Sen's Snail Mucin Serum. It's really good for repairing your moisture barrier and I really like this one. It leaves such a nice application for your makeup afterwards. And there's no like irritating fragrance or like feeling on your fingers afterwards. This is off topic, but I also really like the Beauty of Just Sen's Glow Deep Serum. It's rice and alpha arbutin, but I use this at night to lift like hyperpigmentation and acne scars. But yeah, this is what I've been using a lot at night as well. But next, I'm just gonna put on some moisturizer. This is my go-to I've been using for years and has never failed me. But cold, windy winters are so harsh on my skin. I need to layer on so much moisturizer. And then also sunscreen. I don't know where my gua sha is, but this will have to do for depuffing. <laughs> And my last and arguably the most important step in my skincare routine is sunscreen. If you guys followed my Korea diaries and you know I fell in love with Korean sunscreen. I love sunsticks because they're so convenient to reapply throughout the day. And I specifically love the beauty of Just Sen. They make modern handbang skincare and I fell in love with their original sunscreen formula that I literally bought 12 boxes of this during my second trip. But what I'm really excited for is their new matte sunstick. I've been using this for two or three weeks now and I love that it's a non-greasy matte sunstick. It's also super convenient to reapply because it's nice and small i can just throw this into my tote bag it just glides on it's super easy and another thing is that when i reapply this sunscreen throughout the day it'll actually help control some of my sebum because there's silica powder which will actually help mattify things leave it feeling really satiny and smooth but so thank you again beauty of just for sponsoring this portion of the video it's surreal to be working with my favorite sunscreen brand if you guys want to shop any of their products you can go to the link in the description box below and now i'm just going to do my makeup and then i usually just take a little bit of a thin foundation and blend it all over And this is the final look with just the sunstick on my skin. I think it looks so good. And I'm gonna bring it everywhere with me now because I don't know a more convenient way to get in a sunscreen than a sunstick. We just finished anatomy and now we're gonna start pharmaceutics. Daniel's here. It was actually just a question period. I thought we were going to do a module in person, but she said she just reports them and puts them online. 
So I'm gonna do that later tonight. But my next class is Farm 120, which is professional practice, and that doesn't start till one. So right now everyone's kind of on lunch, but I ate lunch in between my first and second class because I totally forgot that I had this second break. So now I'm kind of just chilling. I'm gonna start memorizing my 50 drugs though. So I am finally starting to memorize my top 50 drugs for my professional practice course and I am using the spaced repetition study technique. It's super common among students whenever it comes to memorizing large masses of information, whether that's facts, vocabulary, muscles, bones, in my case medications. And the idea is that instead of trying to cram all the information in at once, you review it in space interval, which is exactly what Anki does, which is why people in med school love it so much because there's just so much information to know. But I'm in pharmacy school, so I'm just using cue cards Cards right now and I'm just manually spacing them out. Frontal cranial fossa. Period. Middle, middle cranium fossa. Posterior crania fossa. Is it crania or cranium or cranial? <laughs> Crania, I think. <laughs> what? That was not even an option. And if you haven't heard of the technique, it's just based on the principle that the human memory is more likely to retain information that is rehearsed before it's forgotten. And by spacing out the review of the material over time, you're giving your brain the opportunity to process and retain the information more long-term or like more effectively. Uh, the spacing intervals also depend on your own rate of forgetting. So there's also the forgetting curve, but the general rule of thumb is that you start with shorter intervals and then gradually increase them over time. So how I'm doing is I'm learning 10 new drugs every single day, but I'll only review the previous 10 two days later and then i'll just like space it out for like day one day three day seven and so on so i have a little over a week and a half from when i'm starting so i'll likely review all my older flashcards on day three day five and day seven and then again on test date which is day nine Okay, I literally just spent the last 12 hours on campus. It's 8.30 right now, and I left this morning at like 8.15 for my 8.30 class. But yeah, I'm really satisfied with how my studying went today. I was super productive. I finally printed out the top 50 drugs that I need to memorize by next Friday. I was supposed to do like 10 yesterday, but I never ended up printing them out. So I did the first 10 today, and I think I have them down pretty good, actually. Maybe I'll do a few more tonight, but I really do want to get started on Jury's Prudence. It's a module that used to be included in our course, and then they recently moved it to like, online extra material but we still get tested on it but you just have to teach it to yourself and i haven't started that at all so yeah i'm probably gonna do that after i make dinner but yeah i've been super super productive the last five hours okay guys good morning today is thursday it is my busiest day of the week i start class at like 10 30 and it ends at 6 30 so i'm gonna dress comfortably these are pants that look like jeans but they're actually like not they're like kind of cotton material they just look like jeans but they're not and i think i'm gonna wear a hoodie today because i just want to be comfortable okay outfit decided So I've been putting off studying Jury's Prudence all week because it's a little bit dry, but the good thing is the learning objectives to this content is very, very clear. So I know exactly what I can kind of skim through and then I know what to really take note of, like all the different pharmacy college policies or regulations or like matters for reporting. But yeah, also studying with friends and like in a public area like helps me stay awake because it's like almost a robot voice speaking to me through the computer. It's like 10 30 now and i have a group meeting for my pharmaceutics like communications course and that's in like two hours but in the meantime i'm gonna make a nice breakfast and start memorizing another 10 drugs for my top 50 drugs that i have to memorize for a quiz next friday so that's the plan